Welcome trainers and champions to another Pokemon TCG deck build and today we're looking at Whimsicott from Unbroken Bonds. You didn't think I'd even make a Whimsicott video. No one would even imagine. Look at that. It's Whimsicott. But yes, um, Whimsicott is still in rotation um, and we're going to try and make a last hurrah deck with Whimsicott because I feel like it should deserve it. It should deserve it. It's an amazing fairy type card. So 190 HP for a stage 1 GX is kind of on the low side, normally you used to see about 210, so it's not kind of on the low side, but I think we've seen lower, amazingly. Um, it being a fairy type means you get weakness on things, well, literally weakness on ADP, because that is the only dragon type that we see. Um, retreat cost of one is great, meaning that you get things like U-turn board to get through retreat, which is fine. Resistance to dark is good as well, because Eternatus is still getting seen um, here and there, so be careful of your Eternatus. Weakness to steel isn't great, because just Zacian alone is a problem, but it kind of makes up for it for its ability, which is Fluffy Cotton. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin, if heads, you prevent it, which is great. It's a 50-50 chance of Whimsicott getting hit which i feel like is fine that's great to me i actually don't mind that that's really cool and it has two attacks first off for one fairy energy we have energy blow 10 base damage and this attack does 30 damage for each energy attached to this pokemon i like this this is fine so the more you build up the more damage it does overall which it's fine there's no there's no big hassle for that and for a 50 50 trade of getting knocked out i don't really see why you why it's why why you just wouldn't go for it and for another fairy energy, we have Toy Box. Search deck for up to five cards and put them into your hand. So it's literally just get what you want and just get ready for the next turn. If they do something like Marnie, then boohoo, waste of GX, but it's not like we're going to be using anyone else's GX, so that's fine. We also have three copies of Colossal, so you're starting to kind of see what we're going to what we're gonna do today. Because of its amazing ability, Tar Generator. Once during your turn, you may attach a fire energy and a fighting energy card, or one of each, to your Pokemon any way that you like. So the whole point of this is that we're going to be using Colossal's ability, um, plus discarding a bunch of energy, bunch of fire and fighting energy to put onto Whimsicott every single turn and just go absolutely crazy with the damage. And our only other um, member of this team is Dede. Everybody knows what Dene does by now. Say it with me. When you get the Dene, put it on the bench, discard your hand, draw six. We love the Dene. The Dene is great. We love the Dene. We also have one copy of Energy Retrieval, one Energy Spinner, one Evo Incense, one co Pokemon Communications, four Quick Balls, four Rare Candies, three copies of Switch, three copies of Martial Arts Dojo, uh, three copies of Boss's Orders, four Marnies, three copies of Professor's Research, two copies of Island Challenge Amulet. Again, you didn't think you'd see this card. But yeah, we're using it today it's because it says the Pokemon GX or EX that this card is attached to gets 100 minus HP. So that would mean if we attach to Whimsicott, it only has 90 HP. But when it's knocked out, your opponent takes one prize less. So the reason why we added this is because since Whimsicott is so frail, it's going to get knocked out regardless of what damages it. So, for example, Zacian, even without weakness, would take it out. Eternatus, with a full bench, will take it out, even with resistance. Uh, things like uh, Shifu will still take it out. Um, ADP still has a very good chance of taking it out. There's a lot of cards that can take it out very, very quickly. So, we might as well just give them one less prize for it anyway. So, with that, we also have two copies of Triple Acceleration Energy, four Fairy Energy, five copies of Fighting Energy, and four copies of Fire Energy. So, with that being said, Let's see how this deck goes. I'm actually really excited for this. Let's go, Whimsicott. Okay. All right. Let's see how this goes. I'm I'm so excited for this. I was putting this together and I was just like, dude, wouldn't it be funny just to bring Whimsicott back just one time? Like, I've not been there going like, dude, the fairy types are kind of lacking because obviously we're not getting fairy types anymore. Everyone knows now that we're not getting fairy types after this rotation. Well, if ever since the Sword and Shield era, we've not been getting fairy types, which does suck because I feel like fairy types were kind of good. And the dragon types too, we've not got any dragon types as well, which I feel it, it's sad because I really would have loved to see um, some, what's it called, some fairy type Pokemon getting added. Things like, you know, if Alcreamy was a fairy type, that would have been a good VMAX Pokemon. Um, if we got things like, gosh, what other ones were there? What other new fairy type Pokemon did we have? And the only one I can think of is Alcreamy. Um, Togekiss, that Togekiss VMAX, I'm pretty sure would have been a fairy type because we didn't have, I don't think we had Togekiss GX that came out as a fairy type. Uh, but yeah, there was a lot of good additions for fairies. I feel like it was just... Hatterene GX would have been a good fairy type Pokemon to have as well. That would have been great. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't get any. So we'll have to kind of just make our way through it. Which is sad. But you know what? There's there's not much we could do. 
Um, right, what am I going to do now? I'm going to say quick ball and I'm going to prep the Dene. I'm not going to use the Dene. I'm just going to prep the Dene. Because judging from Mew to Mew, you probably wouldn't use Marnie. I'm assuming that you wouldn't use Marnie. Um, right, fair, two fairy energies. And let's say, let's say five. Uh, um, yeah, let's say a five for good measure. Let's say a fire energy for good measure. Because, all right, so here's the plan. He's fire energy on Cottony. Um, and then we wait. Mewtwo and Mew is probably gonna get gonna come out since that uh, Giratina Garchomp is out. We're gonna see who he snipes. Whichever Cottony he snipes will evolve the other one. So we'll do we'll, we'll kind of swap around that way. Um, right, so that's his support for the turn. So most likely he's gonna hit this Cottony because we have the Fairy Energy, we have a Switch, and we've got the Dene, and we have Whimsicott. So I'm okay with this. If he gets Roller Collie, then that's just out of nowhere. Yeah, there we go. See, called it. I absolutely called it. I thought so. Right, so fairy energy on, Whimsicott can evolve. He's probably gonna snipe the cottony anyway. So that's fine. Hopefully we get some good draw. I'm hoping that we get this rare can oh wow, we get rare candy, but not <sighs> we get two rare candies, but no um but no colossal. That's sad. That's very, very sad. Now we get colossal but no rare candies. Right, but we do get another Whimsicott, which I feel like is fine. Um, what I actually want to do, I want to do, I'm going to do Toy Box, actually. I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for a massive flex, and I'm going to go for Toy Box. So we have Colossal, so Rare Candy would be nice. Yeah, because what I was going to do, I was going to do Quick Ball and get Dedenne anyway. So yeah, that works great. Get Dedenne anyway. Yeah, that works fine. If he doesn't do, um, yeah, that works great. That works completely fine. I'm fine with this. Dene, wait, what does he do? Choose two random cards from your opponent's hand, reveal those cards, and they shuffle them to the deck. So I'm hoping that the cards he gets is Cottony and an Energy. As long as it's not Triple, Colossal, or Red Candy, or Quick Ball, I'm fine. I feel like we're okay. Um, Gengar and Mimikyu will be fine, because it's only 100 damage. Um, Vile Plume will be an issue, though, because that'll be two prizes if... Oh, no, it'll be only one prize if it's heads. Oh no, if it's tail if we get tails, that means it's only one prize though. Okay, see? I, I know he's not got Marnie. So basically, we kinda have free reign to do what we need. So he's either gonna do Dust Null and Trevenant's move for 150, or he's gonna do Vile Plumes for a straight up 180. Or Poltergeist, but we're still protected. <laughs> oh god, Whimsicott. You absolute beast. Right, let's let's go with this. Right, so Roly Coley. Um oh gosh, that means we have to get rid of a um Card. Right, cool. That's awesome. Right, touch fire energy, touch fighting energy. Um, triple XL. Um, you know what? I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it just in case. Um, whenever, whenever one of them wants to go down, whenever just one of them wants to go down, I'll just do it. I won't do actually just throw up cutting me now. And an energy blow. How much damage is that? 190. Look at that. Still 20 down, 40 damage afterwards, so 50. If I, I got one more chance to attack him. So three, six, nine, hundred. We can hit him in next. We can hit him in the next go for a, for the cost of that. That's easy. As long as it's not heads. If it's heads, then we're in trouble. If not, then we're fine. What can he do with this now? Tag call. Malabanana. God damn, Malabanana. Ah, Malabanana. How is everyone using Malabanana all of a sudden? I was like, there was like a good time frame where I swear no one had the time to use Mallow and Lana. No one had the time of day of even using Mallow and Lana. And now for some reason, everyone's using it. Just please be heads. Please be heads. Just hit me with the heads. Heads? No. Okay, that's fine. It's one energy. It's fine. It's fine. Right, 240. Just take one prize. It's fine. We're okay. It's okay. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right, another triple XL, so another, what, 190? If I can somehow pull it off and get another Rare Candy Colossal Fusion, but I doubt it. All right, Martial Arts Dojo, that actually works well for us too. Right, we're in trouble now. After this one, we're in a bit of trouble. Right, 230, look at that. If I just had another two energy on, that would, been, that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. Right, my see the problem that I have with it, it's the same with a lot of decks that I've been making recently. Stage two Pokemon are just so hard. 
Like, they're so difficult. Like, a lot of people are obviously going to gun for the rare candy, right? But it's just, there's no... Oh, of course, of course you do tails again. Alright, Marshall Sojourn Road, Chloe. I'm not too fussed about that. Of course that happens again. Right, I'm going to set up... Yeah, I'm going to set up Colossal. Set up Colossal. Um, and there's another Colossal again. So, that's great. Alright, and attach. Yeah, to Courtney. Just in case we get the other ones. Just in case. Uh, next time we take out Mewtwo and Mew. Next turn they're gonna hit us. Um, I need that rare candy ASAP though. Reset stamp. Oh, he's going for Poltergeist. So there's Marnie. There's Whimsicott. Boss's orders. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Right, I have to literally rely it all on the... I have to rely on Whimsicott. I need to rely on this heads for it to pull... I need to rely on this heads to pull it off. Literally, I need to rely on heads to pull this off. If I can get heads, it will be so good. Right, do Marnie. Don't even risk it. Just do Marnie. Dead, try and dead draw him out as much as you can. I'm still super excited with this, by the way. I'm not. I know this is just like a kind of whatever type deck, but I'm so happy with this. I'm so I'm so happy with this. Right. Um. Energy bill three six nine plus hundred. Yeah. Oh, and the martial arts dojo makes it hundred forty as well. Right. Big thing about this now. I need that coin to say heads. If that coin says heads, we have won. We have beaten a Mew to a Mew deck with Whimsicott. If this goes heads. If this doesn't go heads, we've lost. We've obviously lost. Just, I just need it to be heads. I'm sorry, I just like lost focus. I was just like, please, 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 just let it be heads. Please let it be heads. You gave me two tails in a row. There is no way you're gonna give me a third. I can't imagine you give me a third tails in a row. No way. Ah, oh, GG the end. To the Scarred Whimsicott. Oh no, right, so with Martial Arts Dojo, how much damage do I do? Plus 40, 170, I won't make it. I won't make the boundary! I got cheesed! I got so cheesed! Right, um... I've been cheesed! Right, boss's orders, bring up... Yeah, Restaurant of Charizard, why not? I've been cheesed! I feel like he's got a switch. Uh, he's probably got switch, or he's gonna gun for it. He's gonna gun for the switch, or he's got one already. Or he's got Malo and Lana again. Let's tag switch. Oh no, and he's got tag switch! Oh, I should've done Dusk Nor and Trevenant! Oh, I should've done Dusk Nor and Trevenant, GG. Right, let's go with the next one. This is, this is still so much fun. Okay. Wow, Champion's Path Box. I always love the Champion's Path Box. There's something about it. I just always like seeing it for some reason. But oh my god, dude, I'm having so much fun with this deck. It's just seeing Whimsicott getting used again is just so funny to me. Like, everyone's just like, our oh, fairy types are done now. Fairy types have been done for like almost a year now. And it's just like, nah, I'm gonna bring back fairy types just one more time. Because <laughs> I was just sitting there and I'm just like, dude, I wanted to do Gardevoir and Sylveon. But I was just like, nah, maybe don't do Gardevoir and Sylveon. Because the whole point of that is literally like, it's a tag team Pokemon, you lose two prize, you lose three prizes, two if you do Island Challenge, but then it's not really worth the damage. You might as well do Whimsicott and have a 50-50 chance and then still lose even less of a prize. Right, so, uh, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do Quick Ball and get another Cottony and another... Um, Another, what's it called? Um, another, oh, Cottony and a Roly Collie. That's what I'm going after. Um, Kingdra does 40 times, not 40 plus. So if he does do Red Candy, we're fine. Um, I'm just really, I'm just going through my options here. I'm just really going through my options. Right, there's Snom. Right, so it looks like Lapras. It looks like Lapras and Kingdra. I think we should still have some leeway. Doesn't look like he's got Lapras just yet. So I, we we have leeway. We've got a leeway. 
Uh, yeah, definitely do Marnie instead. I'm not gonna do research. I'm gonna do Marnie instead. We only have one Roly Coley, which means we need to start knocking out Pokemon fast. There's only there's two Roly Coleys in here, and we need to find them. Okay, right. Let's get rid of research and get another Cottony. If I can find Fairy Energy, that'd be great. Um, I might actually consider using Aurora Energy instead. The only reason why I didn't use Aurora Energy is because it's not easily recyclable. Like once you use, once you lose Aurora Energy, you're kind of screwed. Um, right, with this scenario, I can definitely use the Dene now. Um, let's get rid of the switch because I'm losing all of them anyway. Right. Okay. I just need to end. I just need to end this game or end this round with adding an energy. As long as I get one energy, we're good. Right. There's the fairy. Um, there's another cottony. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I will accept that. And uh, do I attach one at the bit? Yeah, we'll attach one at the back. Why not? Why not? We'll attach one at the back. If I can get colossal as well, that'd be fantastic. Or Evo Incense. Evo Incense or Colossal would be great. I didn't want to stick in four Colossal because I'm just thinking like I don't want to overkill it. There's a difference between like having a good amount and then overkill, and I didn't want to add four Colossal because that's just mad overkill. A lot. That is a lot of overkill. Right. So from the looks at this now, it looks like Artic okay. Articuno is supposed to be the main attacker. I've kind of gathered that, and then you attach it onto Horsey to protect yourself from energy loss. But even at that point, Kingdra just brings the energy back anyway. So that, that I mean, it's kind of smart if you think about it, because Articuno's attack brings its two energy onto someone else. But then the Articuno gets knocked out anyway. Kingdra just takes the energy regardless. So either way, you never lose your energy. The only way you lose your energy is if we take out Articuno now with the energy attached. Right, no way he's got Kingdra. He hasn't got Kingdra now, has he? No, another day. Okay, well, we can change that. We can change that, that's fine. Oh no, please don't be Kingdra. It's gonna be Frostmoth, right? Frostmoth? Maybe Fro fingers crossed for Frostmoth? Yeah, okay, cool, it's Frostmoth, okay. That's fine, I'm fine with that, I'm fine, it's okay, we're good. I am okay with this. Right, um... I don't change Ambulate, I wanna say on the bottom two Cottony, and then Marnie, flip it around. Not the best idea to go with, but we need our draw. And he used his Dene already, so I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna forfeit because he just wasted the Dene. There we go, right, let's do one more. Okay, colorless. Ooh, I hope it's a colorless deck. I haven't seen a colorless deck in ages. What could it be? Togekiss? Maybe Togekiss? Um, gosh, what deck would this be? I have the only good old oh, Salamence? One of the two? Right, do I go for the, do I do the Dene? Do I lose a Whimsicott and go straight for the Dene? Um Yes, I do. <laughs> Just go straight for the Dene. Mm, not the best, but it will have to do. Yeah, not the best outcome, but it will have to do. Right, okay. This is fine, I'm okay. I guess I'm okay. Right, if Colossal could come back, this would be amazing. I get I don't really get why it's so oh it's eleventh hour tackle. Or is it um is it controlled X control? Right, it's triple XL. I didn't really want triple XL, but uh I didn't want triple XL. It always comes to the same problem. I either get the, uh, I either get the colossal but no red candy, or I get the red candy but no colossal. There's no in between. There's no in between, and it so it sucks, dude. It sucks. There's like no in between. I either get the colossal but red candy, or no red candy, or I get the red candy but no colossal. And you guys have seen it in this video alone. We've got it like a good three times in this video. I'm just like, dude, just just give me what I need. Yes, Evo Incense, thank you. God, yes. Right, I'm just gonna hit them. I'm just gonna, yeah, hit them with um with Colossal anyway. Just why not? Why not? Right, let me tackle. Okay, well, we're in trouble. Actually, no, no, we're not. We're okay. He gets rid of Roly Coley. I bring up Cottony, Evolve Whimsicott. Yeah, we're fine. We're okay. And this is actually one of the few exceptions where if Whimscott does get hit, 
we actually survive instead of just, you know, dying. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, it's, it, it is suckish that fairy types are leaving. I am a bit sad that fairy types are leaving. Well, I've been sad that fairy types have already left. It just felt like, it didn't feel that we had a lot of time with fairy types. I know we've obviously had them since X and Y, but I feel like we should have just had them on for a very longer, a longer amount of time. Because, I don't know, I feel like fairy types were just really cool to have. Like, especially if we had, you know, like other fairy type cards, especially new gen fairy cards as well. That would have been great. Right, we have one of every energy that we need. Um, Colossal, get the golden one, get the golden boy. Look at this golden boy. Look at him. Look how cute he looks. But yeah, it, it's a sh it is a crying shame though. I really wish that we had other stuff for it. I, I wish. Because that would have been just amazing, right? So, oh wait, I think we get, I think we get rid of him because of Martial Arts Dojo. I think we actually beat him. So wait, three, six, oh yeah, we do 140 on the dot. 140 on the dot, 369 plus the base 100 plus Martial Arts for behind on prizes. Wow, go on Whimsicott. Getting rid of one prize Pokemon with ease. With amounts of ease. But yeah, I would have loved to see I would have loved to see that Hatterene V card that we got a while ago be a fairy type. I would have loved to see it. Especially like Opal would have been a good like card for fairy types. Bead would have been a good card for fairy types in my opinion. We would have had a lot of good stuff. Like we would have had a lot of good fairy cards as well. What other reprint fairy card? More while I feel like would have been a, a single strike fairy type. The ones that we got in battle styles, I feel like would have been a very good single strike fairy type. Um, what else is there? What other good fairy type Pokemon? Togekiss, like I said before, Togekiss V Max would have been a fairy type. Um, what else? What other cards? What other Pokemon did we have in Gen Eight? Um, Our Creamy, like I said before. Um, gosh, I'm just trying to think. Dobby heads. Oh, why? Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be like that? Ah, you're smart. Very smart. Very very smart. I need to stop. I need to really wait. How many hammers has he got rid of? Got rid of two, and I have two energy, which means he's got, f he's most likely got four. So what I need to look out for is those last two hammers. Because if he does hammer again, I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. If all those, if the last two hammers that he does are both heads and he gets rid of the fairy types, I'm literally stuck. I am absolutely stuck. Right, at least we're protected. Oh yes, he just got rid of all four of them. Right, all I need to do is just find... Fairy, gosh, you are so good to me. You are good to me some days. Right, um, let's get another roly Coley. Let's start off with an... Actually, no. Oh, we don't have any other whimsical either. Oh uh, yeah, we need to be very cautious. We can't let this whimsical thing. We can't. Um, right. Start up on Colossal, because we're not gonna one-shot him anyway. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, yeah, we won't. We won't get rid of him anyway. So might as well just make it a two-hit. Right, he's got rid of all the hammers. I'm so thrilled with that. I'm so thrilled. Yeah, that's great. That is fantastic. Right, boss's orders, he's going for prizes quicker. Um, that helps us a tiny bit because Marshall's Dojo is going to help a bit. Um, we've got no other Pokemon that are weak to it. Right, so nine. If he gets rid of, right. So if he gets rid of both cards in his hand, he discards four, which gives him five. If I use Marnie, okay, that's fine. Then draw one, two, three, four. That means shuffle the. Oh no, he'll have three cards in you have three cards in his hands, which means he could do 11. Oh no, you have three cards in his deck, which means he could do 11th hour. 11th hour, uh, no. Okay, right. Marnie, flip it around, please. Either way, well, I mean, either way, he won't take us. So that I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Just don't get the Dene. That's like the only thing. Um, keep the amulet. Wait, how much damage do you do? 100 and... 180... Uh, do we do... Do we do the amulet but leave the prizes? Or do we do... This is... This is concerning now. 
It's very concerning. Right, get rid of that. Bring in... <sighs> get the Dene ready, but don't use it just yet. Because if, Wind if Whimsicott faints, we can just use Colossal's ability anyway. Um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going through my options right now. Yeah, okay, attach one to Winscott and attach one to Colossal. Just, okay, we'll keep that boundary. Um, you know what, I'm gonna say put on the amulet. I'm gonna say use the amulet. Only reason why I'm saying use the amulet is because if we do, okay, cool. I can use Quick Ball, get rid of the Dene, put on Cottony. Um, if we get Marnie though, that would be great. Right, the only thing I'm worried about. Oh no, that means if oh he would yeah, he would have hit me anyway. If he if he gets tails, he would take me out anyway, because martial arts dojo. Right, ordinary rod, but then if he gets if he puts them all back in his deck, he won't do eleven hour he won't, he can't do eleven hour tackle, so he can't do 180. Best he can do is 160, that's still gonna take me out. Um gosh. I didn't think he had ordinary rod though. Oh no, there it is. Well yeah, he still does eleven hour. Okay, so never mind then. Get rid of that last whole statement then that's fine that's fine i'm fine with that um colossal can still take him um but on a uh, oh no because of the thing we can pro we can probably outlast him to be honest i think we can outlast him just by a tiny amount all we have to do is just keep hitting him and with marsh yeah we're protected i think we won i think we've actually won I think we've done it. Right, quick ball, get rid of the Dene, because that's just a, a loss of prizes. Um, see, I want to use research. I want to use Professor's research to get extra energy, because I want to take him out now. I'm down, I'm down by 10. I want to take him out now, though. You know what? It's it's just worth it. It's worth it. We'll, we'll take it. Triple XL. Not exactly the card I wanted, but hey, we get him, so that's fine. All right, fighting energy, it's okay. It's not exactly the energy I was after, but it's one we've, it's one we've got, I guess. We can take him. We can take him. We've got the energy. We've got yeah. We've got it. We can we can take him. It's a bit concerning. I'm just like, do can we take him? No, we can take him. We can definitely take him. Right, tar generator. Yes, put one on. I should just put both on course. Oh, there we go. Right, and that's some time. Let's go. Oh, that was sick. Okay, so whimsicott. It's a lot of fun. It is so much fun. Um, just getting all the energy up and seeing Whimsicott just act, just bounce around again, it's just, it's so much fun. Getting that 50-50 chance of getting hit, like what you saw the last game, if we got hit earlier, we probably would have lost in the long run. But, dude, it's just so much fun. I wish that they bring back another card like this. I know we have, um, I know we have Dragapult, but Dragapult is, no one kind of uses it. It's a stage two, it's harder to work with, but Whimsicott... It's just so much fun. All you need to do is attach a, a fairy energy, then you can just absolutely go off. I know a lot of people you take it with um, Porygon Z, but I feel like Colossal is just more. I'd, I'd want to say more reliable. Because, yeah, it's a stage two. Well, they're both stage twos. Porygon Z needs you to have special energy in your hand, but Colossal could just do it in the discard. So if you do use things like, again, the Dene or Professor's Research or Quick Ball, you could just buff it up a whole lot quicker. A lot quicker. And it's like, yeah, it costs like more in the long run, but I feel like it's just so much better. I feel like it's more reliable. I feel like Colossal is just a lot more reliable than Porygon Z because it's just the same process more or less. But other than that though, I, I absolutely love it. The damage output is kind of meh, but um, I guess with Martial Arts Dojo, we make up for it. Um, Island Challenge Amulet, like I said before, we, we do well. We would have done very, very well. Um, if we had Alan Chan's amulet as well, you do so well. This is like the one, t I think this is the only time I've used the GX deck where I've actually used Island Challenge amulet as the main tool card. I've never ever used Island Challenge amulet to this extent, 
but it is so much fun. I think Whimsicott is just, I think it's just a handful of fun, especially now that we've got new cards to work with. But yeah, that's kind of my opinion for Whimsicott anyways, guys. Let me know what you think of it. If you guys want to see anything added in, let me know. If you guys want to see anything taken away, let me know. If you guys want to see any video um, of a deck that you want to see personally, let me know in the comments. I'm going to have to try it out the best I can. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, always leave a like and always click on the video. As always, welcome back. And I'll see you all in the next video. All right, guys, take care. And I'll see you all later. Okay, bye.